Welcome to the writing support module covering how to understand the directions in a writing task by decoding the prompt. Deconstructing or decoding a writing prompt in academics can sometimes be stressful. Prompts can be lengthy, confusing, have multiple steps, and may contain content-specific academic vocabulary. Don't worry though, there are tips and tricks that can make deconstructing a prompt easy. Just as with any task, the first step is to take the question or prompt apart piece by piece and analyze it. When you are asked to answer a question in your online class, it is important to create a thorough, well thought out response. One way to do this is to use the race mnemonic. If your response restates the question, answers the question by expressing the main idea, cites evidence from the text with either a direct quote or a paraphrased indirect quote, and fully explains why your text evidence is important, you will have written an excellent answer. When deconstructing higher level or lengthier writing prompts, you might want to consider using the RAFT strategy. RAFT stands for Roles, Audience, Format, Task, and Strong Keywords. First, you need to ask yourself, what role do you take as the writer? A student, a concerned citizen, an expert? With this prompt, you can assume the role of a student. Write a summary explaining how the article demonstrates the de destruction of the Native American's culture and heritage. Use evidence from the text to support your answer. Next, you need to determine who is your audience. Is it your classmate, a parent, a teacher, a legislator, or even a friend? Determining the audience gives you an idea if you should use a formal or informal tone. Again, in this example, you can assume that your audience is your teacher or even a standardized test evaluator because it seems like the type of writing prompt you might see in a class or on a test. Either way, you'll want to use a formal tone when you write. F stands for format. You need to determine what kind of a product will you be writing, an essay, a letter to the editor, or a narrative. This prompt instructs you to write a summary of the article. A summary is an account of the main points of the text or an overview of the content. T stands for task. What are the verbs in the prompt asking you to do? This sample prompt says, write a summary explaining how the article demonstrates the destruction of the Native American's culture and heritage. Use evidence from the text to explain. The verbs are explaining and use evidence from the text. You will need to tell what the author's message is and give examples from the article. When you see use evidence in a prompt, you know it's a good idea to highlight examples or annotate the text as you read so that when it comes time to write your summary, you have already identified text evidence. Lastly, Strong keywords. What are the keywords that you need to include in your response? Now that you know, know you need to write a summary that explains how the article demonstrates a concept and that your summary needs to provide evidence from the text, you'll want to note what evidence to look for as you read. The strong keywords in this prompt and the words you should pay attention to are destruction, Native Americans, culture, and heritage. You might even want to write notes to yourself about what each word means. That way you will know what to annotate or highlight as you read. Successful students decode writing prompts to understand the writing objective of the assignment, recognize which mode would be best suited for the writing task, and identify words that indicate expectations of the prompt to ultimately find a purpose for their writing. Good luck.